Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and if you are new here, please do subscribe. Now I have my hair up today, which is a little bit unusual for me, but there is a reason for that. And the reason is that I was influenced. So I don't say that often, <laughs> but I really, really was this time. So I follow this girl, Lindsay, on Instagram. Let me just find her. So it's Lynn's, her name is Lindsay, but her Instagram is L-Y-N-S dot S-E-A, so like C is in the ocean. Um, and I follow her because she's a girl that lives in Florida, so she posts a lot of kind of bikinis and beaches and like lifestyle-y things. She has around 18,000 followers at the moment, but she posted recently this photograph, I'll put it on the screen so you can see, of this Bare Republic sun cream. Now, I know it was an ad and I think she got paid to post about this, but she basically mentioned that it's cruelty free, vegan, it's um, antioxidant rich, plant extracts, it's naturally effective and it's reef safe. Um, and obviously it blocks away the harmful UV rays. So all of it was amazing. Now I had seen her posting about it and sub it must have like gone in subliminally, whatever that word is, subconsciously without me really realising and I went to CVS yesterday because the sun cream that I have at the moment for my face it kind of leaves a purple hue on my face because when I rub it in my face goes red and then because the cream is white I kind of look a little bit purpley bluey colour and it kind of sits in my spots a little bit and in my skin if I have dry skin it'll kind of be a white cast so I went to CVS yesterday to see if I could find a tinted moisturiser that was a sunscreen to start using kind of on an everyday basis. Um, and I didn't get the tinted one because I want to cover up spots or anything like that, it's more just so that it doesn't look, it doesn't make my face look purple, blue, kind of whitey colour. Jeremy's banging around. <laughs> anyway, so I saw these and I thought, oh my god, that's the brand that this girl talks about on Instagram. So I thought I would give it a go. Now, there was a couple of different options, a couple of different um, items you could buy, but I was interested with this one. It's the Tinted Face Moisturiser. So it's SPF 30, it's water resistant for 40 minutes, and it's Sheer Cream to Powder Formula. Now, I'm not quite sure what that means, so I'm going to try this on with you guys here and we'll see what I think of it. Um, but it says basically it's um, clean ingredients. Trusted performance, environmentally friendly, and it's for everyday adventures. And it also says it's cruelty free, gluten free, vegan, TSA approved size, you can take it travelling with you, non GMO, and it's reef friendly. And there's no oxybenzone, no octa, the, 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 no parabens, no something other. Basically, there's none of these chemicals that no one knows how to say, which is great. It says it's surprisingly soft non-greasy mineral matte sun cream so that's the other thing as well i was using a la roche posay tinted sun cream a while ago but it made my face so oily and wet looking so i'd have to put that on and then put powder on top to kind of mattify it and dry it out a little bit um so even though it was tinted and i liked it it was kind of really oily for my face so the fact this one is matte is really good it says it's a universal tint that's suitable for all skin tones. Our innovation cream to powder formulation goes on a silky feather light lotion that gently melts onto the skin for a sheer powdery finish. An infusion of antioxidant rich raspberry, grape and carrot seed oils help fight free radicals and promote youthful looking skin year round. So I think it's kind of good for the skin as well as obviously being good for sun protection. So it says to shake it well and apply 15 minutes before sun exposure, after 40 minutes of swimming or sweating, immediately, af immediately after towel drying and at least every two hours. So I'm going to try this on here and now and we'll see how it looks on my skin, if it kind of leaves that cast, if the tint colour works, if it's easy to put on, if it actually does have that liquid to powder finish. So I'm excited about this. We shall see. So this is the packaging you can see here. The bottle comes in the um, box. So I think the design is super cute with all these colours. Um, like I said, it's SPF 30, um, free of chemical sunscreen activities. So I'm going to try it basically. I don't know if it's got a... Yeah, it's got the metal thing on the top, so I'm just going to peel that off. Oh, I forgot to shake it and some like oil has come out of my fingers. Oops, okay, let's shake it quick. So 
so I hope that's shaken up enough. Now I'm not particularly going outside today but because I live in Miami often I go for walks or go running or just run errands and I'm out in the sun directly anyway. So if I can start using this as my everyday cream that would be amazing. So it doesn't really say how much to apply. I guess I'll just try it. Ooh, that's thick. Sun cream is usually quite thin, isn't it? It's quite like liquidy and water, but this is thick. Can you see how it's not running down my hand? It's just staying there. Oh my goodness, it's like a face mask almost. Okay, so it feels a bit moussey. Now I've got it on my hands, so I'm just gonna... I'm just using the viewfinder because I don't have a mirror with me. Put a bit on my forehead. Now I'm not sure if I've used too much but I've used quite a bit and I can imagine this tube running out quite quickly. Although it was cheap to be fair, it was about 15. I've got the receipt so I'll talk to you about the price. I mean, compared to the La Roche-Posay, which was like $40 or something crazy. So my face goes a little bit red when I rub creams in anyway. That feels so nice. Oh, it feels lovely. So, that's all rubbed in. I don't have a mirror with me. So it's actually great because the tint hasn't covered my skin at all in terms of like, I feel like some tinted moisturisers and tinted sun creams are there basically just if you don't want to use foundation. Um, but this, you can still see my skin, you can still see my spots and my redness, which I'm actually fine with. That's not the reason I'm using this. And it hasn't obviously, like I said, that with other sun creams, it kind of leaves white, you know, white marks on my spots, on my dry skin, and things like that. My skin isn't greasy. It's matte. It's smooth. It feels moisturised. That feels lovely. So I'm happy with that. Like I said, I'm not sure how long this would last if you used it every day because I did use quite a lot. So maybe I'll try and use a little bit less tomorrow and see how that gets on. Um... It's nice though, it feels nice, it feels smooth, it feels like I've got quite sensitive skin as well so it's not um, stinging or burning or anything like that which for me is great. And then so the next thing I picked up was also this mineral sunscreen. So we do actually have a sun cream so I don't particularly need this but I thought I would test it out because it's a gel lotion mm. formula. This one is SPF 30. Um, it says ultra light and hydrating, it's water resistant as well. Um, it's the same as the other ones in that it's um, reef friendly, gluten free, vegan, non-GMO and cruelty free. So I kind of feel like this is maybe a bit like an after sun gel but sun cream edition. So I kind of thought I would test it out. It says mineral protection never felt so light. The first of its kind, our ultra clean mineral gel lotion formula feels refreshingly light. Smoothing easily over the skin to deliver hydrating mineral sun protection. Calendula oil, don't know what that is, helps soothe and moisturise while antioxidant rich raspberry, grape and carrot seed oils nourish and help combat free radicals supporting protected youthful looking skin as you chase the good times outside. So um, I just thought I would test out the formula, test out the kind of the gel lotion liquid I guess. See if it has a smell, see if I like it. Obviously I can't really test if it works. I mean I'm guessing it does. If it says it's sun cream, I guess it is sun cream. But um, I kind of feel like sun creams react, you know, they're different. Not all sun creams are created the same. So, oh, I've got that open. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what the texture is like and if I prefer this to normal cream. Obviously sun creams as well, um, when you put them on white, they do kind of leave a white cast. And we bought a reef safe cream ages ago, probably last year, my friend bought it when she visited and it would take her a good like, I don't know, a good three to five minutes of solid rubbing in to get the cream to actually rub in because otherwise it just kind of sat on her skin. 
So I'd be interested to see if this is better because I said to him it's not worth doing, I wouldn't spend like half an hour rubbing sun cream in. I just want something that you rub on and you go. So I hope this does that. I'm just going to put a bit on my shoulder. I'm not going to go outside because I think it's going to rain soon. But I just kind of want to see what it's like basically. So let's have a look. So this is the texture. It's quite thick. Again, a bit like the other one. I wonder if it's a bit moussey as well like the face cream. So I'm just going to put this on my arm shoulder area and see how quickly it rubs in and if it feels light and if it feels gel like. Um, so yeah, let's see. Perfect. Oh, that smells quite nice. Why does it smell like cake batter? Is that me? Like what? Cake batter. Come and smell my arm. <laughs> Come and smell me. <laughs> Why do we think smell like food with you? <laughs> smell my arm. No, I'm here. Here. Does that smell like food? No. Jeremy doesn't think it smells like food. Or it smells like centre parks. Anyway, it smells... I don't know what it smells like. It doesn't... I don't know. It smells a bit like cookie dough cake batter, but refreshing and outdoorsy. I know that makes zero sense. Does it say what the smell is? Maybe that'll help us. Okay, it doesn't say what the smell is, but I'm guessing... I don't know. It smells nice anyway. I would be happy to rub that all over my body, which is what you want from a sun cream. So that rubbed in super easily. It didn't leave a white cast. I wouldn't say it was a gel texture particularly. It still felt like cream, but it rubbed in a lot easier than most creams do. So I guess that's the difference there. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Lindsay, for working with that brand because now I have my new favourite sun cream duo. I've got the body and the face. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. It's so nice. It's a shame that it's in plastic, which I'm guessing it is. Um, it doesn't say it's not plastic, but if they could use the same packaging as the nude or something that's kind of sugarcane or not plastic, that would be every box ticked, I think. Um, but I mean, it's pretty good so far. It's cruelty-free, vegan, reef friendly non-GMO, gluten-free, all the rest of it. So it's pretty awesome. I just wish it wasn't in plastic, but you can't obviously escape plastic altogether. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope it was useful and informative a little bit. Oh, prices. So I got these from CVS. I'm not sure if the price changes depending on where you get them from. So it says the body gel was $16.99 and the face cream was $14.99. So it's kind of pretty average prices, um, especially because it's kind of everything that I've mentioned three times already, you know, reef safe, vegan, cruelty free, all the rest of it. So I'm super happy with them. I really hope this video was informative and that you kind of learned something. Maybe you want to try these as well. So far I'd recommend them. They seem really nice. My skin still feels lovely and smooth, it's not sore or itchy or, I don't know, irritated in any way at all, it feels lovely. So if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up, that really helps me out. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!